Motion blurs have seen an upgrade in Moho Pro 12. They now mimic realistic motion blurs you see on film. They look more polished, and they're easier to control. You can apply motion blurs to any moving object in Moho. If we play this out, you can see we have a character playing with a ball. We could add some motion blur to the ball to polish up these results. You'll find the ball in your Layers panel. Just double click to go inside the Layers settings and find Motion Blur at the top. Let's click on Motion Blur on. And I just want to deselect Subframe Motion Blur really quick just to point out that you can still do Motion Blur like you did in previous versions of Moho in Anime Studio. You just set the frame count, your frame skipping, and your opacity, and you're set. But here, we want to focus on the new motion blur, which is subframe motion blur. You actually have less options here to play with, but ultimately, you have more control and the results look better. The frame count will display the last, in this case, 20 frames for the ball from its animated point. So, as it goes up in the air, we'll have 20 frames trailing down this way. How those frames look depends on the frame percentage. You can go between 0 and 100 with this. If you look at the two images displayed on the screen, the left image has frame percentage set to 100. The right image has it set to 50. The blending and the spread of the frames is different depending on your percentage. There's no right or wrong, it just depends on the look you want for your cartoon. And you can change the blur further by extending your frames. This will extend your frames out on each side of the motion to give you different looking results. If you look at the two videos on screen, you can see that motion blur applied without extended frames is on the left side, and on the right side we have extended frames. This is set to 20, so it's a little bit dramatic. I did that on purpose so you could see the results clearly. But you have more options now when it comes to applying subframe motion blur inside of Moho 12. And just one more thing. Let me apply this motion blur and click OK. When you are previewing your animations, you will not see the motion blur until you either render the video or you render out a frame, which you can do with Command-R on your keyboard or Control-R if you're on Windows. And you can see we have Motion Blur applied to the ball right there. Here is one more example of realistic motion blur, this time applied to an entire character. If we hit play, you can see that there's a lot of motion here on the timeline and at varying speeds. Let's note the motion blur values by double clicking on the layer, going into motion blur. You can see motion blur is turned on with a subframe motion blur set. Frame count is at 20, frame percentage at 40, and extended frames at zero. Click OK. And let's take a look at a final render of this animation. The motion blur gives off a professional and polished look and also helps sell some of the quicker animations like the head turn. Compare this to the same animation without motion blur and you can see the results clearly. For more information, tutorials, and to purchase Moho, please visit moho.smithmicro.com.